Hello everybody, welcome to my video about the performance of Destiny 2 on my iMac. Before Destiny 2 was released, I was searching for any videos or articles that gave any hint of how Destiny 2 would perform on boot camp iMacs. There were a few YouTube videos showing the PC public beta, but none really looked at the performance with each graphic setting. My setup is a late 2017 27-inch 5K iMac with a 4.2 GHz Intel Core i7-7700K processor with 16 GB of RAM, a Radeon Pro 580 with 8 GB of video RAM running Windows 10 with the latest service pack and with the Crimson Relive 17.11.1 drivers provided by bootcampdrivers.com there's a link for that, those drivers in the description. I haven't done any testing with the base Apple Bootcamp drivers, and I did think it was worth the while as they were quite a bit behind the Bootcamp drivers. More importantly, the above drivers have the AMD ReLive feature enabled, which allows full screen recording of gameplay. This has made performance testing so much easier as I could review all the captured footage and manually record the frames per second output. I decided to use the opening mission for the performance analysis. A few of the large gaming websites have used this mission for their own performance analysis, so it seemed a sensible thing to do. I ran the opening mission when first entering the tower to just after I call array Nova Bombs the Cabal Interceptor. I recorded the gameplay making sure the frame rate counter was enabled. At various points during the mission for each test I would stop the gameplay payback and record the frames per second. I also reviewed the footage to find the two points where I could record the maximum and minimum frames achieved. The maximum frames per second was at the first encounter with the Flying Cabal Centurion and the point where the minimum frames per second output was when Commander Zavala popped his Ward of Dawn in the plaza to protect you from the incoming missiles for the first time. These two points were consistent no matter what graphical settings were being used. The graphic settings tested were low, medium, high and highest at 1080p and 1440p. Just for fun I did a 4K resolution test at low graphic setting. I calculated the average frames per second for each test and plotted it with the maximum and minimum frames per second. As you can see from the graph, increasing the graphic quality decreases the average frames per second from 109 for the 1080p low setting to a 43 frames per second for the 4K low setting. One thing to be aware of with these results is that the iMac display only has a refresh rate of 60Hz so you will not see the benefit of anything greater than 60 frames per second. So for the 1080p setting running at the highest graphic setting the average 76 frames per second is comfortably above the display's 60Hz setting and the lowest was 63 frames per second. In the game at 1440p stresses the iMac more. The frames per second averages at 80 to 48 between the low to the highest graphic settings for the opening mission test. One thing I did notice was that at the highest 1440p settings, the performance would be fine until I started firing a weapon. The frames per second would generally jump by 10 frames per second. As soon as I stopped shooting, the frames per second would jump back up. This was the only setting in which this happened. So at what graphic setting at 1440p could I run D2 at close to 60 frames per second? The sweet spot was either medium or high settings, but probably early towards the medium settings as a bit of insurance against slowdown in some locations. You'll notice at the 1440p setting there is a custom setting result. The custom setting was designed to try and get to high quality settings without much of a performance hit. I use the geoforce.com website which has an excellent article about D2 performance. There's a link in the description. The custom setting I came up with is on screen now. Some settings sit somewhere between the medium and high settings. This has been my go-to setting since launch. I've got about 95 hours of active time on the PC version and I've found that the custom setting keeps a greater than 60 frames per second in most encounters. It rarely drops below 60 frames per second in Crucible, never falling below 55 frames per second. During the Leviathan raid, it's always greater than 60 frames per second for the whole raid, mainly because it's always set in small environments. 
when the frames per second does drop below 60 frames per second it's always within the large outdoor areas but only drops to the mid to high 50s. There are two encounters in which the iMac struggles at these settings. They are the high virtual public event on Titan and any fall in glimmer extraction public events. The slowdown occurs when there is a mass of guardians throwing around supers against the mass of enemies. The frames per second have dropped to about 46 frames per second at the minimum and I've never seen it drop below 40 frames per second. And with the raid layer you find very similar performance to the Leviathan raid. In summary, my iMac does better than expected. It can happily run Destiny at the 1440p hitting 60 frames per second for most of the time using the custom graphic setting which gets close to a high graphic setting. I'm sure the lower spec iMacs will be able to run the game comfortably at 1080p. If you have any questions or comments just post below and I'll do my best at answering them. I'm thinking of doing the same with Witcher 3 and Assassin's Creed Origins. Thank you for watching.